FA Youth Cup. A proving ground for the next generation of talent that can put young players on the map and into the mind of the manager. This season we'll be following the exploits of Kwame Ampadu's under-18s as they look to lift the trophy. And this week we meet one of our exciting attacking talents for the fourth round at Anfield. Hi, my name is Xavier Michi and I'm a midfielder for Arsenal Football Club. So I came to be Arsenal at the age of 12. I was signed from Fulham FC and it was just amazing for me to come to such a great club. I've supported Arsenal ever since I was a kid. So to come to such a great club, it's just a childhood dream for me. Coming to Arsenal for me was much harder because I think the level of the, the play and level of training and intensity it was, it was a lot faster. So I had to get to grip with that. And I think it was a good challenge for me as well, individually. I think the adaptation of the training was that it was more like intense and we also train more um, regularly at Arsenal. So I think that, that helped me a lot. And I'd also say that the coaching was a lot better in the sense that there was more information given to me, like where I should play as a winger, how I should move and stuff. So I think that it helped me a lot when I was young, like 12, 13. As a player, I'd say my, my main attributes are my speed, um, my dribbling, um, my 1v1 attacking play is good. And also I like to work hard for the team. I like to track back and just help the team defensively as well, because that's important. You know, we don't want to concede goals, but I think going forward that I'm, I'm a creative player and I like to score goals as well. I'd say the player I want to be like um, in, the, in the first team is probably maybe Ozil. Um, there's players like for Real Madrid, Gareth Bell, those kind of energetic players on the wings that, that can create something. Um, but also I want to be my own player and you know be original in my own way. But I look up to other players like Ozil that are creative in the first team and I've never trained with Ozil but hopefully it can happen in the future if I keep working hard. Yeah, I think the FA Youth Cup is a, is, a, is a big challenge and it's a good opportunity for young players like myself to, to showcase our talent. And yeah, there's going to be opportunities when people are watching and we've just got to impress every opportunity we get. And we're doing well so far in the Youth Cup, so yeah, we've just got to keep going. The Sheffield Wednesday game was probably one of my best games of the season so far. I mean, we all worked hard collectively and then I did well to, to get two goals. But more importantly, the team, the team did well to, to get the, the, the win in the end. So yeah, that was good. In training the week before the Liverpool game, we were just really confident. Um, we knew that they're, they're a good test, they're a good challenge, but we know that we're confident in our own ability. So we know that we could, we can beat anyone on our day and when we, when we play well and work hard together. So I think that against Liverpool, we just stick to our game and nothing really changed really. We just, yeah, believed in our ability and then we managed to win the game in the end. The build up to the free kick, um, I, was, I got the ball wide. I took a touch inside and I got fouled near the, the, the line, the, the, wide, the wide line. And um, I just knew that this is a good chance to, to get a goal from. So I put in a, a ball to the front post, it got cleared away. And then Robbie Burton did well to, to keep the volley under control. And it went in, I think it took a deflection, but it was a good, good effort from Robbie. And then, yeah, we, we were just so over the moon. Like, to get the first goal at Anfield is, is massive because the fans were so back, in their, back in Liverpool. So it was good for us to just to get the, the first goal. So yeah, it's, it settled the nerves. fell behind, it didn't really matter really. We knew that our game plan was, was going to work and we were attacking well, we, we were creating chances, so nothing changed. Yeah, we, we conceded, but it didn't matter about it. Mentally, we still knew that we could win the game. It was tough because it was maybe the last 10 minutes of the game, five minutes of the game. We knew that we had to dig deep. We knew that we could create chances and get opportunities. And when Bukayo came on left wing, he's an energetic player and he was fresh as well because he just came on. 
and I knew that. I just told him, listen, when you get the ball, just run and score. And yeah, he did that. It was amazing for us and he managed to get back into the game. We knew that the next goal will win the game. You know, the lot it was get it was getting hard in the last 15 minutes of extra time. And you know, we had to just make sure that we grind out the result. And then when it, when he scored, it was just amazing. Everyone was over the moon. He ran to the cop end and just everyone was over the moon, like it was just amazing. That experience at Anfield, like the whole thing, I'll never forget it. It was probably like one of the best experiences in my career so far. Definitely up there, so yeah, I just it was an amazing experience for me and the team as well. Middlesbrough, they're going to be a very tough side. We know that physically we can match them. Mentally, we have to be um, as hungry as them, and I'm sure we'll be more hungry than them. And then once we do that, the technical side of the game should be easier. We know that we can score goals, and then we just have to keep the back door shut. So yeah, just it's always good to have a positive. Um, outlook on, on the game as well. And then point, yep, and then just hold up it. Up here, down yeah. here, up there. Up there. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>